We had a great meeting today, a retiree appreciation here for our local age 62. We had close to 600 people here just uh, enjoying our company here together. Had a little uh, uh, talking about benefits. We got to learn about some uh, what's going on in the region from our uh, assistant director, Tim Smith. To see this many re retirees here today is an honor and just to get to walk around and shake hands and meet those that's been in the plant 30, 40, 50 years. Look at Louis Sexton since 1954. What an honor. I mean, I wasn't even born then, but the fact that he's here today and is a part of this meeting and the passion and energy he still has and they still have. I in May the 5th, 1954, and I've been involved with the leadership and the union ever since 1955, and I was president bargain committeeman, committeeman, served on the executive board as trustee and the chairman, also served as sergeant of arms, and I'm just so happy to be a part of this great union. I can't get enough of it. But I probably wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for retirees. So let me tell you a little bit about what I mean by that. Is in the early 90s when we were organizing my plant, uh, and I live in Bowling Green, Kentucky, my plant was in Franklin, Kentucky, local 2370. We made a call to 2164, we need help, because we seen the, the, what the company was, how hard they were coming at us to, to defeat, defeat the union and keep us from voting the union in. So the retirees loaded up a bus, they come down, they were very crucial that day that we had our vote, and we won, we won by 13 votes. And that's crucial when I say 13 votes. The company knew we were divided. It wasn't very strong. So three years later, they planned a desert and got someone to petition with the NLRB. Again, who did we call on? 2164 retirees that loaded another bus up on a rainy, cool morning that lined our, our driveway up as people come to work and, and, and telling us how important it is to have the UAW. Not only did we win, we won by huge numbers, and the fight was over. And, you know, my local is gone now, my plan is gone, but it changed our lives. It changed my life for my, my kids. It changed so many people's lives in there. And even today, we have members that they were in my local that are now members of Local 2164. So the retirees mean a lot to me. They remain, mean a lot to the region. Director Smith, he's not here today. He's in the National CAP Conference in Washington, where I've been this week, but I came here today for this event. But it, they mean a lot to him. You know, down in, in Georgia, we have a lot of retirees in Florida and he attends a lot of these events. So that's why I'm here today. So it's always good, and if any of the retirees out there see this or hear it, well, we want you to come every third uh, Wednesday of the month, and we'll eat, break bread with you also. Uh, and everybody seemed to enjoy yourself. We gave away lots and lots of uh, prizes and gifts, and uh, it's just great to be with this many retirees uh, for the day. It's just incredible that we had the participation that we have here at Local H62, and we hope to continue that through the years.